好，that is the angle here. By applying the formula, also you can get 11 by 2 into 10 minus 13 into 2. You can get 2 ones and 2 fives, 5 into 55. 5 into 11, you can get 55 minus 60. You can get 5 degrees is the answer. Okay, by applying the format also, we can get the answer. Now, here the theta is equal to five degrees. Now, when the time is three fifteen, when the time is three fifteen, that means our hand is at three and minute hand is also at three. Okay, these two hands are at this position. What is the angle initially? Zero degrees. And before that, okay, here it is three at three o'clock. This is the angle ninety degrees. You should have to remember that. Okay, to cover this distance in fifteen minutes, our hand covers. This is the minute hand at three o'clock, three fifteen. In fifteen minutes, our hand covers seven point. 5 degree so this is the angle 7.5 degrees here okay so here in this case for the linear sorry coincident portion of two hands angle is for the assumed coincident portion of two hands angle theta is equal to half of minute hand directly okay half of minute hand directly Okay, so half of the 15 you can get 7.5. By the same way, when you, when the time is 4:20, what is the angle here? 10 degrees. Okay, by the same way, 5:25 angle is 12.5. 25 actually there. 20 half of the 25 you can get 12.5. Okay. By this way, you can get the angle for the coincident portions. Half of the minute hand for the coincident portion, half of minute hand is directly is equal to theta. Okay. Now here another I will give another example. When the time is 1:20, what is the angle? When the time is 1:20, directly you should have to make the diagram first of all. Here it is one. Here is the four. This is the hour hand. This is the minute hand. Okay. What is the angle initially? Actually, in between one to five, how many sectors? Two, three, four. How many sectors? One, two, uh, one, two, and three. How many sectors in between one? Four minus one. That is three sectors. In each sector, we have the angle thirty degrees. So, three into thirty, ninety degrees is the initial gap between one and four. Now. Okay, now from one o'clock, our hand moves in twenty minutes. In twenty minutes, our hand moves. This is four o'clock. This is one. Okay, in twenty minutes, our hand moves. What is the angle? Okay, half of that are twenty. Okay, am I clear to you? Now, I had already give gave to you that is what in one minute our hand covers half degree. Then in 20 minutes our hand covers 10 degrees. So our hand moves towards this direction. That means it can decrease 10 degrees. Okay. Initially in between 1 to 4 you have the angle 90. Let then in 20 minutes our hand covers. Our hand decreases the angle between 1 to 4 to that that is 10 degrees. You can get the answer as 80 degrees by applying this one in the formula. Theta is equal to 11 by 2 into 20 minus 30 into 1. You can get the answer as 2 into 1, 2 into 10. Here it is 10 into 1 to 11. That is equal to 110 minus 30. You can get the answer 80 degrees. Okay. Now you should how to remember the concept, ma? In between 1 to 4, actually the angle is 90. After for 20 minutes, our hand also move in the moving portion. Okay, it can move in one minute. It can cover. It can cover half degree. In 20 minutes, it can cover 10 degrees. The 10 degrees is rotated towards right side. That means it can decreases the angle. Okay, when the time is suppose for example another question is like this. Suppose when the time is find the theta for the time. Find the angle for the time that is seven forty. Okay, at seven forty, what is the angle? 
okay when you look at here in general in between 7 to 40 that means at 7 and here it is 8 one sector is there that means initially 30 degrees okay okay now in 40 minutes our hand covers 20 degrees okay half of that one okay in one minute it can cover half degree in 40 minutes it can cover 20 degrees okay so in this one our hand moves towards this direction of that angle that is 20 degrees you can get the answer 10 degrees okay half of that 40 this is half of that 40 now I will give another example for the same question when the time is 720 what is the angle here when the time is 720 what is the angle here initially a clock a gaps between the 7 and 10 7 6 5 4 ok 720 means 1 7 minus 4 how many sectors 3 sectors ok how many sectors 3 7 minus 4 you can get 3 sectors in each sector you have 30 degrees that means 90 degrees is the initial gap ok then for the 20 minutes our hand moves 10 degrees towards the right side that means when the minute hand is at 20 ok our hand moves from 7 to this direction with that half of that minute hand that means 90 plus half of that here it is minutes is 20 so you can get the answer as 100 degrees by applying the formula also yeah, here we can get the answer here suppose theta is equal to 11 by 2 into 20 minus 30 into 7 ok and 2 1s and 2 tens. here you can get 110 minus 3 into 7 that is 21 and 0 2 10 minus 110 you can get minus 100 in modulus it will be positive then theta is equal to what 100 degrees this can be done ma manually here in between 7 to 20 uh, how many sectors are there 3 sectors 3 sectors means 90 degrees so when the time for uh, from 12 to uh, 20 it can cover our hand moves with an angle of half of that minute hand that is one in one minute it can cover half of the degree then in 20 minutes it can cover 10 degrees so it can cover 20, 10 degrees towards the right side when it move away okay angle is enlarging to that angle so initially it is what angle 90 after that it can move towards the right side then its angle changes to this one okay so here it is 90 plus this is 10 so totally 100 degrees is the answer okay this is the uh, one type of model when he gives the time and asks for the angle you may use the formula or sometimes you may count the sectors and into into 30 okay and to come to that minute hand our hand moves away or moves closer you should have to consider if it moves closer that means if it moves towards this side okay if the time is 5 seven, suppose if the reverse of it is 535 what is the angle okay in between 5 and 35 angle is 90 degrees okay to cover that 35 degrees half of the minute hand is the angle moves by the our hand here it is half of the 35 means 17.5 okay it is closer to that one it is closer to that one that means minute hand is fixed our hand is moves from the 5 to okay sorry 5 to 7 we have only 60 degrees right okay 60 degrees 5 to 7 5 and 7 7 minus 5 you can get 60 degrees okay here from that 17.5 is come closer to this this minute hand, our hand moves towards the direction of right side and minute hand is fixed so that here 60 minus takes place okay 60 minus here half of the minute hand that is 17.5 so you can get the answer as 60 minus 10 you can get the answer 50 50 minus 7 okay 50 minus 8 let me take the 8 50 minus 8 you can get the 42 42.5 is your answer when you apply the formula also you can get the same answer 42.5 okay now I will give another model of the question Yes, 
now i will give another question at in what at what time at what time between 1 to 2 one more clock to two o'clock one more clock one more clock to two o'clock the two hands makes an angle the two hands makes an angle One eighty degrees. This is the question. At what time between ten one o'clock and two o'clock? One o'clock and two o'clock. The two hands makes an angle one eighty degrees. In this case, you can directly substitute in the formula. Theta is equal to eleven by two into minute hand minus thirty into hour hand. When you substitute in that one, you can get. 180 is equal to 11 by 2 into here the minute hand is unknown thing. Okay, we should have to calculate this one and minus 30 into our hand here is one. You should have to consider that one. In between one to two, you are calculating in between one to two. So you should have to take the one. So when you remove the modulus, you can get 180 is equal to. You can get plus or minus two things. Okay, I will take the positive 11 by two minute hand. Okay, minus 30. Okay, then 11 by 2 minute hand is equal to when you come to this side 180 plus 30 you can get 210. Okay, then minute hand is equal to 210 into 2 you can get 420 by 11. 420 by 11. Okay, when you divide it with 11 you can get 113 33 here. Okay, and here uh, 12 minus 3. You can get nine, ninety, and here eight, eighty-eight, two. When you touches the decimal, you can get the zero. Again, once eleven. Here it is nine. When you touches the decimal, you can get zero, eight. Okay, so eighty-eight again two. So one eight, one eight, and so on is the answer. So that means approximately it is thirty-eight point one eight degrees is the angle. Okay, sorry, thirty-eight point one eight minutes. Okay, now it's not the angle. This is the minutes. Okay, or it may be taken as negative also. Suppose minus one eighty is equal to eleven by two into minute hand minus thirty hour hand. Okay, so this may be done in two ways. Yeah, this may be done in two ways. Modulus may be changes to a to b or b to a. Modulus of a minus b is equal to modulus of b minus a. So I can turn those ones. That is 30 minus 11 by 2 into minute hand. That's why you can get 11 by 2 minute hand is equal to 30 minus 180. That's why here 30 minus 180 is equal to minus 150. 11 by 2 minute hand. Here it is the anti-clockwise resolution. Minute hand is equal to 300 by 11. Okay, you can get the same answer. When you cancel that one, you can get the negative version. So don't do that. Like, don't do that one. Uh, please do the positive conditions only. So you can get the answer like this. Now the our answer is 38.18. This can also be written as. Look at here. At this position, we have the remainder two. That means this has to be divided by. 11 that means this can also be written as 38 minutes and 11 by 2 minutes sorry 2 by 11 minutes thus 2 has to be divided with 11 and that minute has to be converted into seconds by the multiplication of 60 seconds you can get the approximate seconds also answer also okay this is the procedure to get the angle uh, angle to get at angle minute hand identification Okay, that means at 180 degrees in between one to two. Suppose I am asking in between four to five, you should have to take the hour hand as four. Okay, in between, uh, suppose for example, in between uh, 15 to 30 minutes, in between 15 to 30 minutes, 
yet in how many hours at how many hours okay the two ends makes an angle 150 180 degrees or or sometimes another conditions are arises like this way okay this model is very very important to you first model finding of the angle second model if you gives the angle on the our hand you should have to identify the minute hand by this way okay now now sometimes we have identified that uh, one of the clock is uh, slow by 5 minutes suppose if this is a clock one okay this clock shows 5 minutes gain for every one hour for every one hour this clock gains 5 minutes gains means gains means speed or fastest fast by gains by okay 5 minutes or 5 minutes gain suppose in this example i will explain you clearly now look at this question a clock a clock gains 5 minutes for every 2 hours or Suppose, sir, for take the one example in one hour, a clock gains five minutes in a for every one hour. If it was set at, you should have to be aware of this condition. If it was set at one more clock, okay, then what was the then? what was the time shown by the clock when the time is when the actual time is suppose for example 6.30 or six o'clock okay this is am and this is also am six o'clock am okay now look at the solution you should have to be aware of two conditions here one is clock gains five minutes for every one hour okay and another thing is the clock was set that means fixed set that means at one o'clock it was set exactly right okay at one o'clock it was set exactly right okay that means at one o'clock it is set okay at what time it was set one o'clock after that after that for every one hour it's gained by five minutes right it was given that so you should have to write that gaining or losing time first of all for one hour for one hour it can gain by five minutes okay the time gap between the uh, the clock set setting time and the here the time is six o'clock okay what is the time gap between six to one five hours in these five hours in these five hours it can cover an additionally five into five 25 minutes that means if the right time is 6 o'clock the clock time is that means here right time is 6 o'clock or 6 a.m. then clock time is 6 plus 25 minutes a.m. okay this is the clock time okay look at here in one hour it can gain by five minutes in five hours that means in five how you get the five hours this can be get by six to setting time okay actual time to setting time at the actual that is one o'clock 
that means 6 to 1 you have 5 hours so in that 5 hours it can cover additionally 25 minutes that means at right time it is 6 o'clock if then clock time is 6.25 at the time sometimes I gave you the reverse of it is if the clock time is if the clock time is 6.25 ok what is the time shown what is the right time ok what was the right time or actual time right time or actual time in this condition in this condition you don't know this one ok you have only two condition that here in one hour it can gain by five minutes ok ok so it was set at one o'clock ok ok so one to six you should have to check it for that one to six the clock gained by ok 25 minutes that's why here the time is 625 ok that means here clock time is clock time is 625 am ok in between that in 1 to 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock it can cover these extra minutes right so that's why here the time is 6 is the right time ok reverse of this also given in your examinations ok you should have to consider the two conditions that speeding or the gaining or the losing of the time ok when it loses you should have to subtract this word 25 if it gain you should have to add to that uh, to that uh, right time ok and you should have to aware of that what he has given is it the right time or the clock time now this is another model this is the most important model in most of the examination he gives from these models we will discuss some other problems on the display next ok now another concept is mirror image concept ok in mirror image concept when the clock shows ok this is the actual and this is the mirror ok when the actual time is 3 o'clock then what is the mirror time this is the actual time this is the mirror time ok empty means mirror time this is the actual time so it's looking like a 9 that means actual time plus mirror time is equal to what 12 hours ok ok when he gives the actual time you can get the mirror time by 12 minus value ok if you have the minutes also you should have to cover one more thing that is actual time plus mirror time is equal to 12 hours can be computed as 11 hours and 60 minutes right 12 hours can be computed as 11 hours and 60 minutes so when you substitute in this one you can get the answer when the actual time is when the actual time is 6 30 then what is the mirror time here it is 11.60 minus 60.30 here the formula actual time plus mirror time is equal to 11 11 hours and 60 minutes so here mirror time is equal to what 1160 minus mirror time ok by applying this formula you can get the answer directly ok so here 0 0 3 ok and here 11 minus 6 you can get 5 so 530 is the mirror time ok this includes the relative portion of the hands also that's why you can get the answer exactly ok now I will give another example when the mirror time is when the mirror time is 6 o'clock 
वॉट इज दुअल टाइम एक्चुअल टाइम इज इक्वल टू क्वेश्चन मार्क वॉट इज द एक्चुअल टाइम हियर here we have the formula actual time plus mirror time when you have only the hours you can go through the first format that is actual time plus mirror time is equal to 12 hours then when you substitute in this one if you have actual time is equal to 12 hours minus minute hand okay mirror time so 12 hours and here the mirror time is 6 hours so you can get the actual time as 6 hours that means in mirror when you look into this linear position okay when you look into that linear position in mirror also it is 6 o'clock in actually it is also 6 o'clock okay now these are about the concept for clocks so when you are aware of these concepts you can get the answers very easily let's have a discussion on some of the problems on clocks on our projector